All right, we're we're probably live. Let's go ahead. <laughs> I think we're live. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome. Uh, Audra's gonna check if this is actually live or not. <laughs> Check, are, you check. Live? are you live now, Chris? I think so. Audra's gonna check. How many people are watching? Um, 1,600. Really? Yeah. 1,600 people, Chris. Do you want to awesome. thank everyone for being here and? Talk? Hello, everyone. Hi. Welcome to CES 2025. Woo! Go really, like really close. And, um, forgot this and had to walk back. Oh, no. <laughs> Am I the only one? Please tell me I'm not. Uh, but it's 350 bucks if you got to repair one. So just make sure you don't lose it. Thank you all for coming. It's a lot nicer and warmer than I thought it would be. Um, I don't know how many of you have followed us on social media, but we're doing a test drive with the press, um, different journalists with uh, our Hermes. Yeah, the other other vehicle. Over at the bagel shop. And I think yesterday they're like like this. Thank you. Oh, there we go. <laughs> On axis, as we'd say in engineering. Uh, yesterday, we drove for about 20 miles, and the vehicle basically kept its charge the whole time, just from being charged, just like we said it was going to do, right? <laughs> but we were able to drive around in a city environment, albeit very bright, but it's still winter time, so the sun's kind of low. But we were all enthused to see that, and I just wanted to share that with you guys. So thank you for being a part of this. Thank you for your support. All the green uh, aquamarine shirts I see. Thank you very much, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy the vehicle. G give, a, give a few words about the PI, Chris. Everybody, about the vehicles that we have here today, uh, these are our beautiful validation vehicles. Uh, PI 2 and 3 is driving down the street, but it's been a lot of hard work over the last two months. Everybody working late, late nights, and it's with everybody here's support uh, that we've been able to come this far. Your uh, support online, your reservations, your investments uh, have gotten us to this point to show off this beautiful validation vehicle, all the solar goodness, 186 solar cells, 700 watts of solar, 40 miles a day of solar charging capability. And everyone that's come by the booth that hasn't known about Aptera has just been in awe about how amazing this vehicle looks, how capable it looks how much that this vehicle could fit into their lives. So uh, we're all here to try to get a million of these on the road by 2033. And I think with your continued support, we can do that. So please, if you meet an engineer from Aptera, thank them very much for working so hard to get these vehicles done. You know, working till past midnight some nights to, to just put the finishing touches on it. But it's been driving great. It's amazing to hear, you know, that they drove over 20 miles yesterday and actually left the day with more charge they had. Super, super awesome. And, you know, from the carbon fiber chassis that was really started over two years ago to all the die cast metal parts that were designed and refined with the suspension to the UI UX team and the beautiful user interface we have, it just all looks so wonderful. And, you know, I want to cry every time I see it because it's just <laughs> such a dream come true to be here with everyone. So, thanks for coming to CES. Have a great show. Your main objective here, if you have on a blue shirt, is to find somebody with a media badge in there and tell them, have you heard about Aptera? Because it's gonna change the world. Make sure to go outside and see this amazing vehicle. Give it all the coverage you can because we're gonna change the world together. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Chris. All right, so that was Chris and Steve giving their, uh... I'll, I'll show everybody. Here's the crowd we have. Hi, everybody. Say hi to the live. <laughs> Awesome, so we got a line already, which is wild. I wanted to show everybody watching um, what we've brought into the show today. So first we'll start with uh, this from CPC and CoStamp. So this is our, uh, actually this is a, uh, you know, this is our chassis, right? And this is the exploded bank. So this shows how the vehicle comes together. Um, this is an extruded part, and this is a cast part. So you can tell it looks a little bit different than the chassis that we have shown in the past. This is actually from CoStamp. Really cool. This is part of the crash structure. This is the uh, big foam that will take a lot of the impact. Uh, they're, all, they're all saying hi. That's awesome. Um, so this is really cool from CoStamp and CPC. Well, I guess we'll head over to the actual vehicle now and check it out. So this is PI4 and this is the first uh, you know, production intent vehicle with a full interior and exterior. So what do you guys think? It's awesome. <laughs> All right. It's awesome, man. It's 
Yeah. Cool. I mean, isn't it crazy yeah, to see all the fit and finish and the... It's beautiful. Even the little buttons on the yoke and everything is just just fantastic. So this is the full interior. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Full interior, full solar on the roofs. I'll go out front so we can see the entire vehicle. We got the wheel pants that do the, the flip-up maneuver. And uh, thanks, man. Here it is. The strobing lights is just, you know, an artifact of the camera. But yeah, we have the, the lights on, blinkers, everything. We've got full solar capabilities. Here's the, uh, here's the solar. Amazing, first time people are seeing a solar hatch. And yeah, you can just see all the details in this vehicle are quite amazing, the UI's up as well. We changed. The, you know, power outlet, speaker, subwoofer, lights. It's all, it's all awesome. No, Audrey needs to come back and do that. <laughs> Here's the uh, max port right behind the license plate. And now it has this really cool spring-loaded mechanism. So you just do this, it pops right open. This is the brand new uh, reverse indicator lamp. It's smaller. So it's the, the best we could do. And uh, yeah, I mean, every little detail on this vehicle is there. So it's quite remarkable. Even the... Uh, I think that's the plan. In the okay. wiper fluid. Yeah, <laughs> you can open it up and there is USB ports inside there. All right, but I mean, I can't believe... I guess I should show myself. I can't believe how many people came to the booth so early. I got here, there's already at least 50 people here at the booth. And uh, our fans are incredible. So thank you all for coming. And... Uh, Hey guys, anyone want to say a few words to the live stream? Please come. That's <laughs> what we have done here. The team is extremely proud of it. Hope to see you. Yeah. All right, Tim. It's been a long road, but... So Tim is one of our senior directors. He, he really helped make this thing happen. Um, Audra, can you read some questions for me <laughs> from the stream? All right. All right. Let's see. Um, you look for questions. Yeah, please ask your questions now. Audra's going to check the live stream and we will answer what we can. This is craziness. Well, yeah, we can take a close up of the wheel pants. They have the, the material up front um, for bumping things. You can see myself. There I am. <laughs> See any questions? Yeah. Um, yeah, they do. Yeah. Yes. Hey. Hi. What are the questions say, Audrey? Uh, so one of the questions, obviously, probably elephant in the room, is when does production start? When is it projected to begin first deliveries? Yeah, we're projected to begin first deliveries the end of this year. Now that it's 2025, which is really exciting. So we have a lot of plans coming to fruition now. Here's uh, some minor details. No, we're not showing that today. So is the back wheel pan also production intent? Yes. The, the back wheel pan is actually out of the production mold at CPC. Uh, the only thing is we've shown renderings of a little cutout that you can open a little door to put air in the tire. That hasn't been tooled yet, so we have to go back and add something to the tool to get that little door. Uh, but it's a production intent part. These these were not out of production molds. Uh, these were 3D printed and glassed, uh, but the rear is out of the production mold. We, yeah. think that, we think that this will change slightly. Uh, for, for a lot of reasons. A uh, little more aerodynamic treatments. Uh, we're still working on how to attach the fungible uh, front and rears and like something that's really cheap, something like uh, they make Crocs out of for your shoes and just kind of clips in. So there could be a couple of small changes on this before we release it for two Yeah, it looks crazy though, it really does. And if you look at the back, the wheel pant inner is uh, all this black anodized metal. And it's really amazing. So Everything's super aerodynamic because this is the most difficult aero area of the vehicle. The air gets pinched between the wheel pant and the body of the vehicle. So having these be as aerodynamic as possible is super important to our aero profile. Right. So, Any know, other questions? Yeah, we know we got the track vehicle out, giving rides to media. People are asking uh, when can they start expecting test rides in Aptera? Uh, we've got track time scheduled later this month. So we anticipate either later this spring or early summer we'll have an event. Um, at our factory for our ambassadors uh, and our investors, and then hopefully be open to the public shortly after that. Yep. All right. Can you tell us a little bit about the solar output that we've been seeing so far? Uh, this is 186 solar cells on the hood, the dash, the roof, and the tail. That gets you about 700 watts of peak power. 
throughout a day in Southern California, you can get about 40 miles of charge back into your battery pack with a solar package. Yeah, that's awesome. So if you look at our new website, which just launched, it has, you know, the solar calculator, which is on the vehicle page. You can see how much solar you can estimate you'll get with your vehicle. It has the, the latest specs, the latest information that Audra and team worked on. There's a whole discovery center with all the top questions answered. Uh, it's really amazing. So check out the new website if you haven't already, aptera.us. We're uh, getting ready for production. We needed a new website that kind of showed the sophistication of the vehicle. Some people want us to pop the hood. Or... No, we're not popping the hood today. <laughs> this vehicle um, doesn't have everything in it. The vehicle that's down the street running people around that has all the drivetrain gear and everything. Right. Uh, this was, you know, for, for a lot of reasons, we wanted to make this as pretty as possible. So we didn't take the time to put a lot of the extra parts in it. Right. After the show, this is going to get upfitted with yeah. the rest of the parts. But it ostensibly is a PI vehicle. We have a big announcement on Wednesday uh, that deals with the battery pack, and the battery pack isn't in this vehicle because we're waiting for some new uh, battery modules that has to do with that uh, announcement on Wednesday, so stay tuned. All right. Maybe we can get Jay Leno on Disney Production. Yes. And then Jay Leno did say he wanted a first production all-wheel drive vehicle, so oh, okay. he's all-wheel drive. We'll, we'll, we'll have to wait. <laughs> Speaking of future variants, the 1,000 mile range, Awesome. I'm going to walk around the line and see what people thought of it. So, see you later. It's getting real windy. <laughs> we had signs up. We had to get them, get them taken down, which was crazy. What do you guys think? Hey, Chris, I like it. It's beautiful. Oh, awesome, man. Work of art. oh, thank you, guys. Isn't it cool to see all that forged carbon all, everywhere? I think this is stronger word than cool. Yeah, I think so. It's unusual. It is. It's carbon built in the past, building for the future. I love that. Okay, that's great. I love that. So I, I forgot. I didn't show you guys the bunk. There it is. Got the bunk ready to go, and all the tie down points, all the hooks for the cargo net. It's all in this vehicle. So. All right, let's let's keep walking. You guys excited? Woo! <laughs> hey, how's it going? All right, this is, I'll, I'll take like a, a view back. Hey, how's it going? Good. So this is where we're at in Central Plaza. So we'll, we'll go over here and turn around to show you the location. But thank you all for joining us today at this monumental moment. The first time we're showing production intent vehicles uh, to the world. The team did an incredible job. If you just look at, <laughs> look at this and then look at the rest of the show. <laughs> There's a... Uh, almost nobody at any other booths currently and we're just swamped so this is i'm sure what we can expect the entire show <laughs> pretty pretty awesome um everyone say thank you to tim dine and jonathan over here for all the work they did these two guys thank you guys for the work you're doing everyone is saying <laughs> awesome hey sonia on the communications team and uh, Steve's over here interviewing with Aptera Owners Club so I guess he's live too so we'll double live I'm live streaming your live stream okay your live stream oh my gosh this is crazy cool yeah infinite loop yeah we're making a black hole we gotta be careful <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, I'm going to get to work letting a bunch of people sit in this beautiful vehicle we have today. Um, thank you all for tuning in. And uh, yeah, definitely check out the new website and check out all the content we're going to be posting over the next few days. So I'm going to be posting a lot of content on this vehicle and the track vehicle we have running outside the show. So we'll see you soon. It's getting windy. Woo, windy. Vegas is crazy. Bye, everybody.